Cause you'll never steal my youth I was born to live beside you But you're trying to stop me growing Now I'm living on the run from all this hatred you now love The same only rays from the heavens above Speed of darkness lights our way We set our course for the melody If I give it to you, you're just gonna kill me. Why not just kill you and take it? Now you're gonna let me go, right? In retrospect, you think it's great. You're making me nervous. I'm making you nervous? Are you kidding me? I hired you because I was nervous. And here I am, so settle down. Did I not explain this to you? Yeah, you ripped off your boss, stole some family heirloom or some shit. Something that's really valuable, and now you're trying to sell it. The only thing is, is you're trying to sell it without actually giving it up. A sticky situation as it is. On top of that, your boss is a nasty fucker who wouldn't hesitate to kill you, your family, or the family dog to drive his point across. Is that sum it up? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so relax. Nothing's gonna happen. You might have totally low hand your situation, but I'm here to get you out of it. Low hand my situation? Pick up a weekly rag once in a while. Oh god, that's them. Shit. Stop it. Go answer the door. I don't know if I can. Do you want me to answer it? Yes. Good idea. Unbelievable. You Christian? Nope. He's inside. Which one of you is Anderson? I'm Anderson. This is Smith. You guys packing? Of course. You? Of course. If you're not Christian, then who the hell are you? Just think of me as his insurance agent. If you say so, are we going to do this? Just behave yourselves. Where's the money? I want to see the money. Take it easy. So I guess it's safe to assume that you're a Christian? Yeah. What of it? Nothing. Just wanted to confirm it. Do you have the item? I do. Do you have the money? It's close by. Mr. Smith? If you wouldn't mind. Whoa, 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 what the hell? Shut up. My nose! I think you broke my nose! What did I hire you for? What did I hire you for? Are you good, Tony? Yep. Tony? I thought your name was John. Christian, rule number one, don't hire a bodyguard that believes someone's name is John Smith and Thomas Anderson. Yeah, no shit. You know what, Mike? Next time I get to be Anderson because Smith's way too quiet for me.
All right, Christian. Since my partner is being a little PMSy today, I'm going to let him explain this to you. Sit down. Put your arms down. Here's the bottom line. Desmond, your boss, is pissed that you stole from him. So much so that he hired us to come and retrieve it, or any money that you may have incurred from its sale. Did you sell it? No, that's what I was doing today. That's actually good. That works well for you. That means you still have it, right? Yes. Where is it? Oh, give it up, man. You're clearly outgunned here. Okay, I already sold it. Jesus. All right, well, give me the cash. It's gone. Oh, isn't that convenient? You spent all the money already. I have some serious debt, guys. You don't understand. We're all in debt, man. He's right, Christian. Your debt isn't our concern. The money that you owe Desmond, that's our concern. It just so happens, Desmond got that item appraised. This is how much you owe him. What? I didn't even get half of that. Ooh, that sucks. But again, not our concern. Give me your phone. Christian, I am giving you one week to come up with the number that is on that piece of paper, and then Mike and I are gonna come back here. Or, if you run, we'll find you, and I can promise you that this conversation will go quite differently. How differently? Really? Christ. Okay, let me put it this way. The next time you and me have a conversation, I'm gonna let my gun do the talking. Shit. Yeah, shit. Fucking unbelievable. What did you do to my phone? I swapped our numbers. Now, this way, if you happen to come across the money before the week's up, you can get a hold of me and hopefully we can resolve this situation peacefully. Not again, man. Mike, don't start with me. <laughs> You're gonna sound like an old married couple. <clears throat> This guy doesn't deserve to walk. Even if he does pay back all the money, what kind of sick fuck makes money off of smuggling kids? Mike, we're not the judge, just the executioner. We don't get to decide their fate. It doesn't even matter if the desire is just a debt paid. Yeah, this is just horrible. I can remember when we were fighting to keep drug dealers off the street. And we were doing that for free. Yeah, you said it, free. Free doesn't pay the bills. And Mike, this is what we're good at. Yeah, but Tony, when is this dry spell of yours gonna end? You can't keep giving these pricks extensions. It's okay to kill the bad ones. Okay to kill the bad ones? Mike, nobody has the right to kill anybody, no matter what they've done. Jesus, when did this happen? Don't you remember? You tried to kill me three times? Ugh, oh, 10 years I've been listening to this shit. Let's not go digging that hatchet back up. I'm just saying, you've killed before, and they were all bad people. These two morons, they're no different. All right, you know what? Shut up, or I'm gonna finish what I started 10 years ago and I'll put two in your head. Yeah. I take that seriously if you had any conviction in your voice. Are you coming back to see Desmond? You know what? You mind giving him the lowdown? With my luck, he's just going to strap me with something else to do, and I could really use the night off. Sure, man. Catch up with you later. Thanks a lot. I can't explain any of these dogs racing through my brain. It's true. The baby I'm howling for you. Cause you're talking too much and I don't give a fuck anyway Let yourself go, let yourself go, let yourself go Let yourself go, let yourself go, let yourself go Let yourself go, let yourself go, let yourself go Let yourself go, let yourself go, let yourself go Let yourself go,
Hi, Tony. Amber, breaking and entering. That's new for you. Hardly. I remember where you left the spare key. Some things you never forget. That's sentimental. Makes me happy that's what you remember. I'm sorry, that's not what I meant. Relax, I'm just kidding. Haven't seen you in about 10 years though, so that means that the reason you're here is probably pretty important, which means I'm gonna need a drink. Would you like one? No, I can't. What do you mean you can't? You can't? Yeah, I found it a couple months ago. Well, congratulations. You're gonna make a great mom. Thanks. I don't mean to blab. I can't help it. Ben calls me a compulsive truth sayer. Ben's the father? And my husband. Little Amber, all grown up. I'm happy for you. I am. And not that I don't enjoy catching up, but I'm assuming this isn't the reason why you came here? No. I'm here because I need your help. Help with what? Something that could be bad. Could be bad. Well, I was right about the drink, but now I need a smoke, which means we need to go outside because I'm not going to smoke around you while you're pregnant. All right. And how bad is could be bad? It's my cousin. Your cousin. Help me out here, Amber. As far as I can remember, you have about four. Kate. She lives in Edmonton. Kate. I remember her. I met her once, I think. When was it? Uh, Thanksgiving. I think so. It was so long ago. Yeah, it was. Well, what kind of trouble has little Kate Belmont gotten herself into? She's been kidnapped. She's been kidnapped. She caught a cold. She got a bad haircut. You don't sound too worried. I don't know if it's true. Is this a common game the two of you play? See if you can convince the other one that you've been kidnapped? I'm sorry, Amber, I'm just not following. Kate hasn't always been the most honest person, and she's been mixed up with strange people for her whole life. Oh, wait, 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 I remember. She was, uh, she was some sort of activist, wasn't she? That's what she liked to call herself, but it was never for anything serious, and it was a different thing every week. Yeah. Okay, and why do you think that she's been kidnapped? I got a call from a friend of hers. At least I assume he's a friend. Um, his name is Derek something. Derek Shepard, I guess. And he said that she told him to contact me, that I would know what to do. So that you would know what to do. Uh, well, if it is true, why would Kate think that you would be the best person to call? Most likely reason is she was around a lot when we broke up. I hate to be a stickler, but since the mood isn't exactly that serious right now, I'm going to correct you and say, when you dump me. Tony! I'm just saying. Anyways, she was around a lot when... We broke up and obviously knows the reasons that I dumped you. Oh man, this is about to get good. What do you mean? You're about to say that all the reasons that you used as an excuse to break up with me, them being the violence, risk, and general mayhem of my life, are all now good reasons as to why I would be the best person to help in a situation like this. A situation which, let's say, your little cousin's been kidnapped. Tony, it wasn't easy for me to come here. No, it was, however, easy for you to use my spare key to let yourself into my house. Tony, come on. I'm just giving you a hard time. What about the police? Have you called them? They're good at handling this sort of thing. It's what they do. That's what Ben said too, but if this is a joke, I don't want her getting into more serious trouble. <laughs> Sounds like it might do her some good. Or it might make her act out more. I just don't know what else to do. <sighs> All right, so what? You want me to go up there and find out if she's telling the truth? Yes. And Derek said that you can crash with him while you're there. I have the address. Really? Amber, this seems a little bit much to be a joke. I don't know. All I know is that my cousin has been a stress for all of my life, and this is not something I need right now or can handle. I can agree with that. Derek said he would leave a spare key under a chair on the patio. Oh, sure, that makes sense. I mean, you know where my spare key is. Why shouldn't I know where Derek Shepard's is? <sighs> Thank you, Tony. I really appreciate you doing this. And here, take this. We'll let Kate know that you know me. Oh, what? My legendary name isn't enough? What is it? It's a hair clip. It's probably the only gift she ever gave me. I've had it for years. Again, Tony, thank you. <sighs> of course. But Amber, what if I do get up there and this all turns out to be some sort of ridiculous grab at attention and I'm completely wasting my time? I mean, believe it or not, I got a life here and I got things to do. Then I will be really sorry for wasting your time and I will hate my cousin forever. <laughs> I can't imagine you hating anybody. But Tony, what if it is real? 
Yeah. I'll get her back, Amber. I promise. 